phrase, so here today, it's a farewell event, you fly out tomorrow, has it all sort of kind of hit you that, that you're off to a World Cup? I think so, yeah, it was pretty special last night, we got sort of the new World Cup you know, outfit and you know, going through that was like Christmas, so obviously I had to get through today, this morning, you know, the tough session and then once we got through that, um, yeah, it's pretty feet up from here and yeah, pretty excited. Talking to Will about his uh, new position as captain, he seems to still be adjusting to it. What have you noticed about him and his leadership style in the first week or so? Um, I don't think much has changed. His, Will's really good around the group. Um, he gets people together and that's what he's done. You know, I think he's always on the, he's always on the speaker, you know, he's King Tunesman, so whenever he can he gets music out and, and gets everyone together, which I think is great. And, you know, when he has to speak, um, it's not often, but everyone listens. So I think it's just been himself, which is just genuine, a genuine bloke. Uh, he's actually got everything, so I, I, I like it. So I've got a big range of music myself, so he goes, he goes anything you want, he's got it. Fraser, you've been an integral member of this team, and there's great stories of finding out you go to a first World Cup. What was yours like on Wednesday? Where yeah. were you and who did you bring first? Yeah, it was pretty special. I was, I was actually at Bunnings um, getting some paint, and then... Uh, I got a call from Webby saying you know, I'm on the flight, so I was, yeah, I was pretty excited. Obviously, there was a lot of nerves and anxiety that day, not knowing what's going to happen, just wanted, wanted to find out. Um, and then, yeah, first thing I did was text a family group chat and just said, yeah, I'm, I'm going. So they were all super excited. Came over that night, and yeah, we had some, you know, had a glass of champagne to celebrate. It was good. And then, similarly, what was your reaction finding out Michael wasn't in offset with the big story of the day? Um, I didn't find out until uh, the next morning afternoon um, obviously there was you know a lot of surprises there as well so yeah I was shocked um, you know sad to see he's not there and and whatnot but obviously I was super excited myself you didn't drop the paint did you no nah, I didn't drop the paint it's in a trolley so it's all good Australia's <laughs> had some great number sevens at World Cup Cox, David Wilson you feel a responsibility also element of excitement um, yeah definitely super excited I think it's going to be a great challenge over there um, in terms of personal, you know, all that sort of stuff, I don't really want to buy into that. Obviously, there's a lot of, like, as a team, we have a lot of work to do, right? So, I think for me, it's just trying to, trying to be consistent, and um, you know, I don't, I don't think that's in my sort of story at the moment. Maybe you know, down the track, but in terms of right now, I've got you know, a lot of things in my game I really want to work on, and I have to fight for that jersey as well. So, um, we've got a competitive group, um, and then, you know, that's what Eddie really wants to. Wants to bring out in the whole squad is just competitiveness, and we've got that. So for me, it's just trying to grind and enjoy the experience as well. How do you feel after Argentina? You had an opportunity there, but you hadn't played in a long while. Um, so you find it difficult coming back, only getting one crack, and then uh, clearly the next week things changed a little bit. Tom coming in at the seven as well. What's the, what's the feedback been like on the um, Feedback was good. It was just um, they, you know, they were happy with how I played. I think they wanted a bit more sort of pressure around the, around the ruck which I was you know not able to get um, and then went away and was able to you know sometimes games are like that right as a seven as a, as a fetching seven like myself sometimes you know I'm always hunting for the ball but sometimes it just doesn't go your way whether that's they get all the momentum or or the tackle technique for you is wrong you know people aren't you know chopping and the balls balls there um, you know and they're quite quite good so I think with Eddie um, all the messaging is quite clear, and he's very honest with you, and where you, where he sees you, and where you where he sees you can get to. Um, so for me, it's all been really positive. So um, you know, he's told me things to work on, and you know, I'm I'm going to do that, and I've, I've been doing that. So yeah, just super excited to you know, keep progressing in, in France. You had much interaction with Michael over the last week at all? Yeah, he he messaged me this morning, said you know, go well, mate. Um, and you know, I've had a few few messages, you know, back and forth with them over the past few weeks. So, yeah, we keep in touch. Um, yeah, so I'm sure that won't be the last of it as well. You taste the sort of consistent test rugby over the past 12 to 18 months, the rugby championship last year, especially. How do you feel that your confidence has just grown on under Test Arena, that you can really go out there and make a difference in France? Yeah, I think yeah, that's a big one. Hey, I think I think it started obviously in Super Rugby this year. Um, obviously, Test Footy was. I had the, you know, a test each year, and then last year had a had a lot of tests where I was able to just learn about a lot about the game and a lot about myself, and I was able to take all those sort of stuff um, to Super, and then Super, you know, I thought I had a good season and was able to then build on that, and then coming in here, I just felt a lot more um, confidence around, you know, my ability, but just the group as well, and and you know Eddie and all the coaching stuff, the way they're able to build up the players in the group, um, even though we're a very young group, um, you know, it's been great for us having having that backing. 
So for me, it's more just about now going out there and executing it and, and doing what I know I can do.